Hello, thank you for coming back. Today is uh, July, or August 28th of 2022's lesson in A Course in Miracles workbook for students from the original edition, lesson 240. It's the last of what is salvation section. Fear is not justified in any form. Fear, fear is not justified in any form. Fear is deception. It attests that you have seen yourself as you could never be, and therefore look upon a world which is impossible. Not one thing in this world is true. Not one thing in this world is true. It does not matter what the form in which it may appear. It witnesses but to your own illusions of yourself. Let us not be deceived today. We are the Son of God. There is no fear in us, for we are each a part of love itself. And the prayer says, How foolish are our fears! Would you allow your Son to suffer? Give us faith today to recognize your Son and let him free. Let us forgive him in your name that we may understand his holiness and feel the love for him that is your own as well. Fear is not justified in any form. Wow, think about this. Fear is deception. It attests that you have seen yourself as you could never be and therefore look upon a world which is impossible. Not one thing in this world is true. Wow. Not one thing in this world is true. Only love is real. What Everything in this world can be threatened. <laughs> That's why it can't be real. Everything in this world can change. That's why it can't be real. Love is changeless, and it cannot be threatened. Nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. We, we receive God's peace when we realize that love is all there is. Babanam Kabalam. That is a, a statement in uh, a phrase in uh, Sanskrit that says, um, love is all there is. Babanam Kabalam. Okay, let's go take a look in uh, our text reading. And let's start with, we're in chapter 25, The Remedy, and we're in Commuting the Sentence, uh, section 8. Let's start in paragraph 53. To justify one value that the world upholds is to deny your father's sanity and yours. For God and his beloved Son do not think differently, and it is the agreement of their thought that makes the Son of God, excuse me, and it is the agreement of their thought that makes the Son a co-creator with the mind whose thought created him. And if he chooses to believe one thought opposed to truth, he has decided he is not his Father's Son, because the Son is mad. And sanity must lie apart from both the Father and the Son. This you believe. Think not that this belief depends upon the form it takes. Who thinks the world is sane in any way, is justified in anything it thinks, or is maintained by any form of reason, believes this to be true. Sin is not real because the Father and the Son are not insane. <laughs> Sin is not real because the Father and the Son are not insane. This world is meaningless because it rests on sin. Who could create the changeless if it does not rest on truth? 54. The Holy Spirit has the power to change the whole foundation of the world you see to something else. A base is not insane 
on which a sane perception can be based, another world perceived. Let's read that sentence again. The Holy Spirit has the power to change the whole foundation of the world you see to something else, a basis not insane on which a sane perception can be based, another world perceived and one in which nothing is contradicted that would lead the Son of God to sanity and joy. Nothing attests to death and cruelty, to separation and to differences. For here is everything perceived as one, and no one loses that each one may gain. 53 or 55. Test everything that you believe against this one requirement. Test everything that you believe against this one requirement and understand that everything that meets this one demand is worthy of your faith, but nothing else. What is not love is sin. And either one perceives the other as insane and meaningless. So what is not love is sin. What is not love is sin. And either one perceives the other as insane and meaningless. Love is the basis for the world, for a world perceived as wholly mad to sinners who believe theirs is the way to sanity. But sin is equally insane within the sight of love, whose gentle eyes would look beyond the madness and rest peacefully on truth. Each sees a world immutable, as each defines the changeless and eternal truth of what you are. Each sees a world immutable, as each defines the changeless and eternal truth of what you are, and each reflects a view of what the Father and the Son must be to make that viewpoint meaningful and sane. 56. Your special function is the special form in which the fact that God is not insane appears most sensible, sensible and meaningful to you. Your special function. You have a special function. Could we take those, those, those ideas of specialness that we have allotted to the world? And the Holy Spirit looks at them again. And he gives us a new way to see those. And that becomes our special function to find salvation, to see love, to find God, to know ourself. Your special function is the special form in which the fact that God is not insane appears most sensible and meaningful to you. The content is the same. The form is suited to your special needs and to the special time and place in which you think you find yourself and where you can be free of place and time and all that you believe must limit you. The Son of God cannot be bound by time, nor place, nor anything God did not will. Yet if his will is seen as madness, then the form of sanity which makes it most acceptable to those who are insane requires special choice. Nor can this choice be made by the insane, whose problem is, is their choices are not free and made with reason in the light of sense. 57. It would be madness to entrust salvation to the insane. Because he is not mad, has God appointed one as sane as he to raise a saner world to meet the sight of everyone who chose insanity as his salvation. Wow, isn't it nice to know that God has given us a helper to, uh, to help us re-perceive the world? To this one, the Holy Spirit, to this one is given the choice of form most suitable to him, one which will not attack 
the world he sees, but enter into it quite into it in quietness and show him he is mad. This one but points to an alternative, another way of looking at what he has seen before and recognizes as the world in which he lives and thought he understood before. Now must he question this because the form of the alternative is one which he cannot deny or overlook nor fail completely to perceive at all. To each his special function is designed to be perceived as possible and more and more desired as it proves to him that it is an alternative he really wants. From this position does his sinfulness and all the sin he sees within the world offer him less and less until he comes to understand it, it cost him his sanity and stands between him and whatever hope he has of being sane. Nor is he left without escape from madness, for he has a special part in everyone's escape. He can no more be left outside without a special function in the hope of peace than could the father overlook his son and pass him by in careless thoughtlessness. What is dependable except God's love? 59. That's 59. What is dependable except God's love? And where does sanity abide except in him? The one who speaks for him can show you this in the alternative. He chose especially for you. It is God's will that you remember this and so emerge from deepest mourning into perfect joy. <laughs> Accept the function that has been assigned to you in God's own plan to show his son that hell and heaven are different, not the same, and that in heaven they are all the same, without the differences which would have made a hell of heaven and a heaven of hell had such insanity been possible. I think we'll stop there. Uh, let me mark this. We'll pick up tomorrow at uh, paragraph 60. We'll probably start in 20 and 59. All right, let's uh, go back and take a look at our, uh, our workbook lesson. And before we read what is salvation for the last time, I say the last time, this year. <laughs> you can read it many times. Um, let's look at uh, in the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Catalog, another type of amaranth, and it's grown for its uh, leaf. And it's called the Chinese Multicolor Spinach. And it's a, um, oh, what was the, what was that? A, I got to find my, uh, my notes. I've got too many cards here. Um, Amaranthus dubius is the genus and species of this particular amaranth. Chinese multicolor spinach, uh, like from the Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds Catalog. A heat and drought to tolerant green in spectacular splashes of color. Leaf amaranth is popular in Asia, eaten raw, stir-fried, or steamed. This is by far the most tender and sweetest amaranth for edible greens, making for vibrant and delicious salad. The young leaves make a perfect spinach substitute. Intricately colored leaves are juicy and succulent. The go-to green for midsummer when all others have bolted. Harvested in just 30 to 40 days from sowing. Sounds like you could plant that right now and have it in a month. Okay, um, 30 to 40 days, that's pretty quick. And that's your Chinese multicolor spinach. And you can get those seeds from uh, Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds. All right, let's take a look at um, what is salvation. 
Salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to him at last. It cannot but be kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. The thought of peace was given to God's Son the instant that his mind had thought of war. There was no need for such a thought before, for peace was given without opposite and merely was. But when the mind is split, there is a need of healing. So the thought which has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still was one, but failed to recognize its oneness. Now it did not know itself and thought its own identity was lost. <laughs> Salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing, failing to support the world of dreams and malice. Thus it lets illusions go. By not supporting them, it merely lets them quietly go down to dust. And what they hid is now revealed, an altar to the holy name of God whereon his word is written with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it, and the memory of God not far behind. Let us come daily to this holy place and spend a while together. Here we share our final dream. It is a dream in which there is no sorrow, for it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. The grass is pushing through the soil, the trees are budding now, and birds have come to live within their branches. i got a dog that's moving my tripod. Sorry about that, guys. The grass is pushing through the soil. The trees are budding now, and birds have come to live within their branches. Earth is being born again in new perception. Night has gone, and we have come together in the light. From here we give salvation to the world. For here it is that salvation it was received. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned, that time is almost over, and God's Son has but an instant more to wait until his Father is remembered. Dreams are done. Eternity has shined away the world and only heaven now exists at all. And our lesson for today, fear is not justified in any form. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Oh, I know you know what, before we read that, I did want to tell you a little bit more about black walnuts. That's why I'm sitting underneath the shade of this black walnut, Juglans Negra. Uh, I found this again on, on that uh, website we had yesterday, medicinalnewstoday.com. Black walnut have higher levels of antioxidants, polyunsaturated fatty acids, and other healing properties, or other healing, other health promoting compounds that the more co common English walnut. So it has more of these health-promoting compounds than the more common English walnut, making them useful in reducing the risk of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. And of course, that was referring specifically to the nut, not the whole. Okay. Um, now let's read. Fear is not justified in any form. Fear is deception. It attests that you have seen yourself as you could never be, and therefore look upon a world which is impossible. Not one thing in this world is true. It does not matter what the form in which it may appear. It witnesses but to your own illusions of yourself. Let us not be deceived today. We are the Son of God. There is no fear in us. For we are each a part of love itself. We are the Son of God. There is no fear in us. And we are each a part of love itself. How foolish are our fears. 
Would you allow your son to suffer? Give us faith today to recognize your son and set him free. Let us forgive him in your name that we may understand his holiness and feel the love for him that is your own as well. Fear is not justified in any form. Fear is not justified in any form.